Hello, in this video I am going to be showing you how to add Braille and add graph lines to a, gra to a, um, a, a grid, a, a graph template in Google Drawings. So what I've got here is, first of all, I've got the template up of a 10 by 10 square, which we decided was probably going to be the best format for doing graphs for Rachel and then in the other browser tab I've got the Brana Braille Translator. So the first thing to do is to is to add some Braille. So what I'm going to do is, well in fact sorry, the first thing to do is to create a new template and that and what that does is it keeps this original original one as a master so that if we make any mistakes we've still got a perfect copy so to speak so the first thing to do is to actually come to the file menu and then go to make a copy and then call this template anything you like um, it doesn't really matter as long as you remember what it is and I'm just going to call this a James test template so then what it will do is it will open up a new tab and create that new template for us. So yeah, now we've got the new template and we've got the um, Braille translator here. And we'll start adding Braille down here at the bottom of the, of the graph. So what we're going to do is just coming to here, I'm just going to type in zero and it's done the translation for me but then I will come back to my template and I want to insert a text box so what I want to do is I want to draw the text box approximately where I'm going to add the braille but remember we can change the position later so it's not too important I think the most important thing is trying to draw a text box that is going to be big enough so now we, we can go back to the braille translator and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in that box where the Braille is. I'm going to press Control A, which highlights everything. And then I'm going to press Control C, which copies that Braille. And then I'm going to go back to my template. Just make sure that the cursor is flashing in the text box. And then I'm going to press Control V, which pastes the Braille. And there you can see the Braille is in the box. The next thing to do is we're going to highlight it. In fact, we could have highlighted it. Again, make sure the cursor is flashing in the box and press Control A, and that will highlight the whole thing. And then we need to come up to here to the font size, and now we're going to do 22. So then that shows exactly that shows exactly the size of the um, the Braille on the on the piece of paper, which is good. And so the next thing to do is to add another piece of braille. So I'm going to mark the I'm going to mark the grid lines alternately. So there's the next piece of braille. Go back to my template, insert a text box. Put this here. Come back to my braille translator get the cursor in the box, press Control A, Control C, go back to my template, make sure the cursor is flashing in the text box, press Control V to paste, and then press Control A to highlight it all, come back up here to 20, make sure it's 22, and then it sizes it correctly, and then what we can do is, I don't like the position of that, so I can move that more centrally, to the line um, and it's just we just keep doing we just keep doing that for the Braille we just keep um, we just keep adding text boxes and then via the Braille translator we just keep adding the Braille to it now the next thing to do is to actually draw the graph itself and the way to do that is to
So you can either do it via the insert menu here, and we actually want to go to the line menu here. You could do it via there, or you can do it via this icon here on the menu bar. It's the same thing. Now, in my conversation with Annette um, a few hours ago, we decided that the, probably the best one to do in terms of getting a most realistic and curved line is this option here, the curve. And the thing to do is you want to place the cursor where you want the line to start. And then you click where you want it to start. And then go to the place where you want the first point of the graph to be plotted. And put it there. And then go to the point where you want the second point where you want the graph to be plotted and again click on it and it stops there the third point where you want the graph to be plotted click left click again fourth point same thing position the cursor and then left click and then for us, our final point, let's do it up there. Now I think when it comes to the final point, you double click. And the reason you double click on the final point is that if you only press the, the left mouse button once, what's going to happen is, is your line's going to go off the graph and it's going to continue to think that you want to continue drawing the graph. So if you double click at the last point that you, where you want the graph to stop, that's good. So now what we can do here is we can actually edit the thickness of the line and the color of the line if necessary. Um, so this here, this icon here, is the line weight. So if we come up here and then when we come down we can see that at the moment it's one pixel wide. But what we can do is we can make it thicker by going four points wide. Um, or even eight, you know, make it even thicker still, so it's eight points wide. And I think this, the thickness of the line very much depends on Rachel. So if you just kind of do a couple of templates at first and see how she reacts to them, um, and then you know, for for instance, if she can deal with a, a four pixel wide line or she needs an eight pixel wide line, whatever's, whatever is easiest for her. I think there's just two more things that I want to go over with you. Firstly, if you want to do a different type of line, you can go to the insert menu and go to the line menu like I'm doing on the screen. And you can see here that this option here will give you a straight line in order to plot. So again, left click for the start. and I don't know what's happened there. Let's try that again. So go to the insert, go to the line menu and then go to the top one there. I don't know why it's the lines doing that. Um, okay well maybe that's something that either you can experiment with or I can show you next week so we'll scrap that because it looks as though it's playing up a bit so I'll just get rid of that now the the other important thing about this this template is that actually treat this template exactly like a photograph and that you, we can make this template bigger or smaller and still keep the number the same number of squares and the way to do that you can tell that when I've clicked on it it's got a blue boundary all the way around and then if I wanted to resize it okay I can just drag it upwards now you can see what's happened there is because the um, I've resized the grid the graph line is too big now but don't worry about that the, and the reason why I'm thinking about re, the importance of telling you about the resizing it is because I'm a bit worried about these braille figures here 
whether or not they will be able to that they will come out on a printer because they are so close to the edge of the paper but what you can do is if the printer doesn't print them properly because they're too close to the edge of the paper then just make your template smaller by dragging it in and then create then create a smaller then create a smaller uh, set of grid lines and then you can just move your braille characters up make sure they're in the right place and then hopefully it will if it's far enough away from the edge of the paper from the margin then it will um, print OK but please let me know please email me if you have any problems with this and I'm happy to advise some more okay thanks a lot bye bye